Yeah. Well, I, I feel deeply saddened and uh, a loss of Muhammad Ali because he was definitely a great person and he made an impression on my life. I met him two times in my life when I was young. I met him and he spoke to us uh, in a little uh, boy center uh, about, you know, uh, his uh, changing to being a Muslim and he talked about us uh, living a successful life. and. So I, that's the first time I met him. He was a very uh, jubilant person, a uh, very personal person to sit down. It's the first time I met somebody at that statue who sat down with us as young kids to talk about us uh, having a successful life and, and, and doing the right thing. And uh, that was beautiful. And to see him punch around with, with us and stuff like that, that's what I remember as a child. And then I met him again. Uh, it was around 19... Uh, Either 86, 87, I was home here in Louisville from Fort Bragg to fix up my mother's home. And uh, he happened to be down off 4th Street uh, handing out uh, the Korans. And so I went up to him and I, I talked to him and I told him my name and he remembered, uh, you know, he's 10 years older than me, so he remembered some of my family members. I had a brother named Tyrone Tennyson, they called him Lefty, uh, that used to spar and box around. So. Uh, so Muhammad Ali knew that. He knew about him. And so he said, yes, I said, well, Muhammad Ali, he was siding one karate. I said, he was such a humble person. I said, can I get one for my mother? And he said, sure. And he sided. But a lot of people didn't even know who he was, didn't know he was back there. But that's how he was. He was like, he wasn't on the main drag. He was off. And I just happened to see him. And he was in a, in a rider, yellow truck, handing out all of these Qurans because he definitely was committed to his faith. And, and uh so I will remember that about him too. But it was, uh, you will never forget that moment. You know, somebody, you know, like he was so humble. And I asked him, could I have an extra Quran for my mother? I will never forget that. And he said, yes, you can have that. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. Uh, it was, uh, he was a beautiful person to meet. And like I said, if you ever met him, if you ever truly met him, you will never forget him. You know, he's, he's the little guy's champion. about this great person, the way he was committed to our community. He put Louisville on the world map. You know, this is just a little small city, but he was a giant that humbled himself to put us on the map. He always talked about, was proud of his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. Anywhere he went, he would let people know that he was from Louisville, Kentucky, and that's what I would never forget. And that's how I still feel. This is my home, and, and you know, it's just, it's because of Muhammad Ali, I, I always feel very proud of my home. And uh, I think whether, whatever nationality you are, whatever race you are, you will never forget him. He was truly a prince of peace, and a lot of people didn't know that about him, and committed to making it better, not just for his own people, but for everybody around the, the world. The little guys, as I call it, he was a, he was a little guy's champion.